Welcome to Coffee Talk. We have a very special guest today. This is Miss Gina Friedman, and she's with the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. Gina, what are some of the really neat things that you have going on with the Big Brother Big Sister? Oh, Deb, we have a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we have our um, community-based <clears throat> program where we have mentors that meet with the kids like twice a month three or four hours a day and um, they do wonderful things. Well now with the mentors I think it's really neat because there's a, a component of that that people don't realize. You not only can be a big brother or big sister <coughs> and meet them a couple of times a month but you can also go in school. Absolutely. We are in yeah. all the Jefferson County schools here in Jefferson County right. but we also serve, service Trimble and Carroll County. Right. So we are in the elementary schools right now in Trimble and it's, what's great about it is the mentors meet one day a week for an hour and they can take him out of side of their class and you know maybe help him with homework have lunch with them go out on the playground play some basketball and you know just be a friend right you know, I always tell them they're being an advocate for that child because they're looking to see what they need and trying to fill that right so and the, I mean that's our um, you know big brothers big sisters has a new logo going on and our, you know, part of it is we are the defenders of their potential. Right. And so every child has potential, and these mentors that we have are there to help them fulfill that. Do want, don't we have two big brother, big sister mentors in the high school? You do. Yes. Yeah, I, I in Trimble County. So. Getting ready to match the second one today. Jay, yeah. Absolutely, and we're looking so forward so. to that. So it's really growing over there in Trimble County. And, um, you know, with the high school mentoring and the elementary school and the community-based, we're at about 10 matches right now. Oh, wow. Well, we need more than that, I know. I know there are really quite a few kids on the waiting list. Yes. And if people don't realize, the mentors, I think the mentors get more out of this sometimes than the kids do. But they don't realize that till they get into it. Oh, so true. We've had uh, mentors over here that have been with the children from the time they were in kindergarten till graduation. Oh, so our program in Jefferson County has been going for over 20 years. Right. And to see now these mentors are actually attending their littles' weddings. Right. Their godparents, you know, uh, the the children of their mentors, and we're also seeing our littles who are now becoming mentors. Oh, so, so it's, it's just a ripple effect. It is full circle. We oh, love it. It is great. Now you have some uh, things that are going on as far as fundraisers. We do here in Jefferson County. Right. We have both for kids' sake. Yes, it's virtual. You know, <laughs> as we all know, we don't have our bowling alley anymore. I know that's so sad. It is. This is our second year for virtual bowl for kids' sake. It is May eighteenth. It's going to be at the Venture Out Business Center up on the hilltop. Um, our package should be ready for teams to come get uh, probably late next week. Oh, awesome. Yeah, the sooner the better. Yeah, so yeah. form a team of four, and um, we're hoping that each person can raise $100. We have, um, you know, when they come in and reg you know, bring their registration in, there's free food, we have raffles, we have door prizes, we have wonderful sponsors that are helping us through the entire event. So uh -huh. we're hoping that more and more people, last year we had, um, it was our first year, so, and we were competing against the Molly Detello run. Right. So this year, um, May 18th, it's, it's a pretty clear date on the calendar. And we just hope people come up and enjoy it. And um, I think they'll find out that virtual bowl for kids' sake is pretty, it's, you know, a lot like uh, bowling and uh, the atmosphere. You'd be surprised what you can do with Venture Out Business Center. Oh, yes, yes. But, you know, a lot of people now, they're used to the games. They're mm -hmm. used to gaming online and they're playing with their oh, grandkids absolutely. or their kids or, or they're doing it themselves. So the virtual yeah. bowling should be a... a good event and if you can form a team and you can't come in be a sponsor yeah you know we have different levels of sponsorships if you haven't received your letter already you know come and give us a call or stop by our office at we're right above German American Bank the corner of Jefferson and Maine yes it's 233 East Main Street and um, you can come see us there or call us at 812-273-0797 oh wow so those are some things they can look forward to either be a big brother big sister or try to be part of the bowling and right that's great now what other things do you have going on um, and you know what I just went to a board meeting in Carroll County yesterday yes. and they are going to be doing cornhole for kids sake oh my that is big yeah it's big and that's gonna be going on in August that's we, a tournament that's a tournament and um, we don't have all the details yet 
but as soon as we do we'll definitely get them to you so you can get them yes, out and we'll get um, out there but that's you know to help them find right. their you know the great thing about big brothers big sisters in Jefferson County we oversee Trimble and Carroll but the money raised in those counties Stay. stays in those counties and, and that's that's important to know it is because sometimes people are leery about that or hesitant so mm -hmm. they shouldn't be no, now you know knowing it stays in that county it stays in that county right. promotes those children and those matches and that's where Angie Kamek who's our match support specialist comes in because with each match that we make Angie has um, where she goes and she talks to them at least once a month and you know just checks and make sure the match is going yes. okay if anybody needs any help that's what she's there for she can she goes into the schools occasionally and just kind of sneaks in and sees, oh, okay yes. making sure that things are going well so we yeah. definitely do our match support that's that's great sometimes the mentors don't know what to ask or you know they don't they run out of ideas or they're Absolutely. tired that day so mm -hmm. they need help too sometimes so and then in Trimble County, we're going to be having a fundraiser in April. Right. Um, and I don't have the dates with me, but um, and I'll get that to you as soon okay. as I can. It'll be at the elementary schools, though. Right. In the evening. Um, this will be like, oh, they've, they've had fundraisers there before. This will be a little different because it's going to be virtual. They'll have the TVs and the gaming equipment. Yes. So I think it'll be a fun time for all. Oh, wow. Well, as soon as you get all those things together, you just send them to us and we'll oh, get them absolutely. out there. And we'll get the links for everybody so mm -hmm. that they can just click and go to that site. Oh, yeah. And it'll be fun. Take care of it and get their applications and all that. We're so. looking forward to, you know, building upon what we have. And we know the need is there in all these counties. Yes. So it's just, you know, and the big thing, as you know, volunteers. Yes. You know, if you're wanting to volunteer, just give us a call, or they can contact you even. And you can, yeah, we'll you know. definitely send you to the right place yeah. if you call us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's the so. great thing is because um, the support we have, you know, just starting in Jefferson County, you know, it's amazing the support. But then, we, you know, going into the other counties in Kentucky, they're, you know, we're small communities. Yes. We have to rely on each other. Yes. And and, and sometimes it can be a mentor that's in Carrollton, mm -hmm. and they get off work here at one of the plants here, and they have time to go do a Big Brother, Big Sister program, and so they can be a Big Brother, Big Sister in Jefferson County, but they live in Carrollton. Absolutely. Or vice versa. Jefferson County can do Trimble oh, or Carroll. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, you don't have to be in the county you're a mentor. No. No, absolutely not. And know, that's, whatever's you know, convenient. Yeah, and that's why we have the school base and the community base. Right. And, you know, just one day a week, one hour a day going into oh, the schools. Yeah. yeah. We all get a lunch hour. Oh, that's right. Yes. So, you know. Yes, we do. And the empty nesters, I'm like, okay, empty nesters, this is a perfect opportunity to go in and mentor a child and, you know, just, you know, make a difference in their lives. Right. I think it's great. Um, I, I see the kids have a huge change in their personality and their their ability to work in school if they have a mentor. Oh, absolutely. And sometimes it's kids that just want to talk to somebody. Well, and I've heard from teachers say, you know, like Billy, he just looks forward to Mondays because he knows Monday at noon, Big yes. Sister is going to come in or Big Brother is going to come in. And that's, you know, keeping the consistency in a child's life is yes. another thing a lot of these kids don't have. No. And with our community based, we're finding more and more grandparents are raising their grandchildren. Yes. And I'm a grandma, and let me tell you, it is it is rough keeping up with them. It is. So I can't even imagine, you know, having every them day. every day. Right. So having the mentors come in, take those kids out, just, you know, maybe get something to eat, maybe taking them back to their house, making cookies, watching a movie. It just gives the grandparents a little bit of relief knowing there's another positive person in their right. kids' lives. And that's very important because sometimes they don't have a positive influence at school. They're, maybe their friends aren't what they should be. Mm -hmm and they need that person they can go to because they'll ask that person questions they won't ask their parents or their teachers oh absolutely so it's very important I just I can't encourage people enough oh, to, I know. to do it's it like, <laughs> it does it makes a big difference and it you does. know the thing is this is our future in our communities yes these kids are going to be our doctors and our lawyers and yeah you know and they're going to be taking care of us when we get old they are so we have to we have to we would make best sure in our future <laughs> that's absolutely. important so mm -hmm. is there anything else we need to make sure everybody knows um, both for kids sake, yes. cornhole for kids sake, virtual gaming, um, let's see what else do we have. And Our, we'll have all those dates and stuff. Mm -hmm, and let you know what's going on. Um, like I said, you know, volunteers, especially male volunteers. Oh yes, that's right. It's, yeah. it's, it's hard to get men to commit to anything if you ask me, but anyway, you know, having them, you know, contact us. We have more boys 
on all of our waiting list right. than we do girls right because we have more female volunteers so any you know any male that would like to volunteer maybe start out in school base a lot of times they start out there I think that's a great idea and then they're like oh you know I'm having fun I'm having that right. connection and then they can you know convert over to community base right or they can just stay you know school base yes but you know just getting out and knowing that you know you're helping a child and now can they partner with somebody and do the mentoring if they're a little nervous at first we can we do couple matches yep. absolutely there you go you know we've had uh, mother daughter you know husband wife maybe two friends that you know want to right. you know couple match absolutely that's what I've seen sometimes they're leery of doing it but then they match up and they go in the school with a mentor that's already going in mm -hmm. and then they realize they really like it yeah so then they get their own child or right. sometimes two so <laughs> but you know in school you know what I think it's almost when it is spring it is spring it's spring yeah we've got <laughs> we've got spring yeah and you know school's gonna be over soon it's true so the summer months are the months that we worry more about these kids yes because especially in the rural areas where they're a little isolated and by having that big come a couple of times a month you know and sometimes we have them where they come once a week every Tuesday right let's say they come they pick them up at six o'clock they go do some things and take them home right you know and if it's just every other week that's what you know the contract is right now I think some people don't realize you don't have to do anything big and fancy oh, you can no. you can take them to clean your car yeah or if you're grocery going to the grocery shopping. store yes drive yeah. by pick them up and take them to the grocery store with you and then you know and, that, and that's when you're buying your own groceries I'm not yeah. saying <laughs> yeah but you can pick them up to go do anything you don't well it, it, it is the everyday things that we encourage mm -hmm. because these kids need to know what life is yes outside of where they're living so if you take him in you know like if you're in Trimble County and you want to come to Madison we have a you know like a little discount card we give to our bigs for different places they can take their littles to whether it's McDonald's to the movies right. you know they get a percentage off of these places but you know some of these kids have never been to movie theater right you know we take it for granted or they haven't been to a McDonald's you think that's odd no it's but not. we've had some littles who've never been to a McDonald's and just simple things doing Heritage Trail you know just um, you know walking in downtown Madison right. Or just getting out and going to LaGrange, maybe, which is pretty close to it is you know, close. Bedford. Yeah. You know, and which is a wonderful little town. Yes. That you can just go to and just explore. But they can't always afford to travel. Mm hmm. So they kind of stay in their own. Yeah. We, and event. there's like we have um, a match, then they go to the library. Every, every time they meet, they go to the library, they check out books together. If there's an activity going on at the library, and I know Trimble County has an amazing yes activities that go on there. And yes. Which is great. That would be great for bigs and littles to yeah. do. And those those guys at that library will help with anything. Anything yeah, you want to do. It's wonderful. They'll try to make sure you can do it. So they're great. So we take advantage of all those free activities and right. just getting outside and enjoying life. Yeah, it, hiking in the woods even. Oh yeah, these kids would love that with somebody that would tell them what the tree is or what. Oh, yeah, or just there to talk to. Yeah. Just you know, being able, like you said, talk to somebody other than a parent or right. a grandparent or a school counselor. Or it's like, yes. oh, I can just kind of breathe. Well, there's one mentor that I know that only thing they talk about is music. Ah. This child loves music, and so when the mentor comes, they talk about music and how it's put together, and that's their thing. Yeah. So no, nobody gets excited like her mentor does. There so you go. She's, she loves it. Yep. And if they would become a community yeah. base, just think of all the music that goes on here in Madison yes. and Trimble County, yeah. and yeah, just getting them out and just doing a few things like that. Oh, I think it's wonderful. You do a lot of good work. Well, You're, thank you. You stay busy, and that's great. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. <laughs> it is. But is there any? Are we good? Any? We are good. If they, like I said, so, our package should be in for both for kids' sake. Yes. If they want to stop by the office, two thirty-three yes. East Main, or if they just remember the corner of four twenty-one in Main. Yep, right there upstairs. We have you know our banner, and it's on the door. Right. Um, new logo. So if you see a yes. big B. Yeah, and and we need to tell you about the B. We kept forgetting that the B is different now. the The logo for the Big Brother Big Sister program is two Bs, one little B and one big B. And so when you see it, you're gonna think it's something yeah. different, but it's it's actually Big Brother. It's Big, big Brothers Big Sisters. We should have brought them that, and we didn't. Yeah, but we that's okay. We'll make sure it's at the end of this video. Well, the shirts will be out for both for kids' sake, so then yes. you'll see it in the community more. Yeah. But yeah, so it has the big. You'll see the big B. You know, come upstairs, and Auntie and I will hopefully one of us will be there. Yeah. And um, or call us at eight one two. 
273-0797. We're also on Facebook. Yes, and ask for Gina or Angie. That's right. And of course, they're the only well, two there. Two so. there so, yeah. <laughs> You're going to get one of them. So, well, wonderful. Thanks so much Thank for you. coming in. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. So, and as for you all, try to make it out to one of these events. Try to help out with the kids. I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it. And as always, we thank you for watching.